Hello and welcome to my channel. In this one I'm going to show you how to draw a dragonfly. It's an interesting looking insect with some fine details. I'm going to try to simplify it a little bit. Alright, let's start. I'm going to be working on uh, 5 times 8 inches Fibriano sketching paper. I'm going to use some charcoal pencils and some willow charcoal, but I'm going to start with charcoal powder. The reason why I'm going to need this charcoal powder is to create a slightly darker background so that I can draw some lighter details against that background. So I need a bit of value in the background to create contrast with the lighter details of the main subject. I created this charcoal powder by crushing one of my charcoal sticks and now I'm just gonna pull it gently in all directions to distribute it more or less evenly before I start blending. Right now I'm not really trying to push it into the paper with my brush, I'm just sort of moving it around. After that I'm gonna do a little bit more blending, this time with a piece of paper towel and that'll blend smoothly and it won't be too dark. As you can see, I'm not really trying to cover all of the paper, I'm not trying to cover all of the background because this is going to be a vignette like most of these smaller drawings. And once that is in place, I'm going to do the sketch. Uh, in addition to the Kohinoor charcoal pencil, which I'm going to use for the most part. I'm also going to use this Kohino silky black pencil. And I'm going to draw the general shape with that. Now, the abdomen part of this particular insect is kind of elongated. It looks like a long tail or something. And this is the thorax area and of course the head. So it has all the main parts that all the other insects have six legs too, and I'm going to have it standing on a sort of a branch or a stick or something. <clears throat> now as for the wings, I'm going to draw the outline, or at least a little bit of the outline, with a pencil eraser. I used a Tombow Mono Zero eraser, and you can see that this uh, lighter line, this white line, is showing up fairly nicely against the background. Maybe the background could have been a bit darker, but you know, there is still enough contrast to have that edge. So it works. So I want these uh, wings to appear a little bit lighter in places than the background, but I'm also going to have to try to make them look mostly transparent. Um, so that's going to be a little bit tricky. Uh, other than that, it's not a particularly complex subject. Uh, subject I've done other insects which I think are uh, a little bit more difficult to draw in terms of their overall shape and detail, but we'll see. So I'm doing the abdomen area or the tail, if you want to call it, because that's what it looks like, and. It looks like it consists of multiple segments. I don't know how many exactly. There's at least uh, seven or eight of them because this part of the body can bend and twist, I suppose. So it has patches of darker color, especially around those um, places in between the segments where the body can bend and a few spots and lines here and there. I don't really need to imitate the exact pattern. I just want to make it look close to what I see in the reference. Speaking of the reference, the reference will be in the description if you want to check it out. As for my other videos of insects, I've actually done a number of those and I'm going to put some of them in the end screen if you want to check them out. I did an entire series 
of drawings of insects in charcoal. So I hope you'll like that. Anyway, I'm trying to put in a little bit more detail into these wings. This is, uh, there, there's some fine, delicate detail here that's maybe a little bit difficult to draw. We have these lines uh, here that kind of look like veins or branches of, the, uh, of a tree. And I'm trying to draw them in similar manner, kind of branching out and tapering near the end. But at the same time, I can't really make them look too thick or too dark, which is why I'm using the Kohinoor Silky Black Pencil rather than the uh, Extra Charcoal Pencil. And um, once I have those lines in place, I can dab a little bit uh, with the kneaded eraser to try to add a few lighter details because um, these uh, wings they're very thin but in some places they are reflecting a little bit more light or maybe obscuring a little bit more of the background so they're going to be less transparent in uh, other places there will be they will be a little bit more transparent so that's the sort of appearance that I'm trying to imitate while I'm drawing this. And I'm going around their edges because I, I, I want to have a clean edge and a nice contrast between that lighter shape and the darker shape. And to do that I often have to rotate because that helps me work from different angles where it's easier for me to push the charcoal all the way to the edge. And when I blend, I mostly work with flat brushes because that way it's easier to blend and at the same time keep the edges clean. So I'm not going to try to draw every single detail on these wings. I'm just trying to add a few suggestions of those lighter areas and I'm kind of trying to make it look close to what it looks in the reference, although obviously I can't make it look exactly like that. So the first pair of wings is now done and I'm going to move on to the to the thorax area and the head. Just doing a bit more refining on, on the abdomen and this transition area between the abdomen and the thorax. So on the top of the back, on the top of the thorax, there, there are some shapes where, where the wings grow out of the body or are joined to the body. I can't really make out all the details there, so I'm going to have to simplify that as well. And also there are a few nice highlights on that round part of the thorax and the in the eyes and the head because those are round surfaces so you can have a nice highlight there so I need to create enough contrast and I'm trying to pick out a tiny lighter shape on the eye as well so as you can see I've already done a little bit of work on the eye and now hopefully this lighter area is starting to stand out. Um, so this is the rest of the head. And now I'm going to draw the shape of these legs. Because the insect is holding on to this stick or this little branch, whatever it is they're kind of joined together so you can barely make out their number but dragonflies have six legs like all the other insects like I said and on this stick I'm gonna have the right side a little bit lighter and the other side the left side a little bit darker so that's gonna be the shadow side so I sheeted that a little bit more 
just want to make that look a bit more three-dimensional and uh, I want to create a bit of contrast with the background again so that mostly looks good I'm just going to move on with uh, with the other two wings and again I'm drawing the outline with this Tombow Mono Zero eraser so as you can see I used two types of erasers here I used this Tombow Mono Zero eraser which can be used like a pencil and of course the uh, Fabric Stell needed eraser I'm just going back in and working around the edges trying to make sure that that I have enough contrast between the background and the main subject because that's what I need to achieve so that the main subject would stand out this part is interesting here because I want to make it look like the wings are semi-transparent or mostly transparent so I want to have this part of the thorax be visible through the wings but I'm going to draw it a little bit lighter as you can see and then I'm going to draw some of these details on the wings on top of that so uh, hopefully I've managed to achieve that transparent look it's a slightly smaller drawing so there's not much room to play around with these details but at the same time maybe that's a good thing because trying to draw all of these tiny details on the wings will probably be a little bit too tedious for me so I I think I found a way to simplify it a little bit while at the same time making it look like insects wings finally I decided that I didn't really have enough value in the background and that I wanted to make some portions of the background a little bit darker to further enhance that contrast so I just picked up my uh, willow chapel stick and I started shading a bit of the background this is going to get blended very easily because willow chapel is very easy to move around so just going to work on that a little bit with a brush and as you can see it's blending very nicely the only thing that I have to worry about is the edges because I need to have a clean edge to value between the main subject and the background so I just, I just need to rotate a little bit so that I could go around these edges and I need to blend everything and then my vignette will be complete because I'm not trying to draw all of the background I'm mostly interested in the insect itself just a little bit of work here and there with a brush and I'm almost done I'm just going to put my signature in the lower right corner and I want to remind you to subscribe if you haven't already give me a like comment and check out my other insect drawing videos if you want to see longer videos real-time footage and more content you should check out my Patreon. anyway thanks for watching i'm going to see you in the next one bye for now